Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's been buzzing around lately, the Mpox virus. It's been making headlines and raising questions, so let's get into the details. What is it, where did it come from, and how dangerous is it? Let's break it down and get a clear understanding of this virus. First off, let's talk about what the Mpox virus actually is. Understanding the basics is crucial. Mpox, also known as monkeypox, is a rare but potentially serious illness. It's not something we hear about every day, but it's important to know about it. It's caused by the monkeypox virus, which is part of the same family of viruses that causes smallpox. This family of viruses is known for its ability to cause significant health issues. The symptoms can include fever, headache, muscle aches, and a distinctive rash. This rash can be quite noticeable and is a key indicator of the virus. While it's less severe than smallpox, it definitely shouldn't be taken lightly. The impact on health can still be significant, especially if not treated properly. So, where did this virus come from? Understanding its origins can help us grasp its nature. The first recorded human case was back in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This marked the beginning of our awareness of the virus. Since then, it has popped up in other Central and West African countries. But why are we hearing about it now? What's changed? Well, there have been recent outbreaks outside of Africa, catching global attention. These outbreaks have raised concerns and prompted action from health authorities worldwide. Next, let's talk about how dangerous Mpox is. Understanding the risks can help us take appropriate precautions. The good news is that it's not as contagious as some other viruses like the flu or COVID-19. This means it's less likely to spread rapidly in the general population. It spreads through close contact with an infected person or animal, or through contaminated materials like bedding. This mode of transmission requires us to be vigilant in certain situations. However, it's still important to be cautious. Simple measures can go a long way in preventing the spread of the virus. Now, onto the current status. Keeping up with the latest information is key to staying safe. As of today, several countries have reported cases, but health organizations are on high alert. They are monitoring the situation closely and providing updates as needed. Vaccines that were used to eradicate smallpox also provide protection against Mpox, and those vaccines are being deployed in affected areas. This is a crucial step in controlling the outbreaks. Researchers are working tirelessly to contain the virus and prevent further spread. Their efforts are vital in managing the situation and finding long-term solutions. So, what can you do? Firstly, stay informed. Knowledge is power, and staying updated can help you make informed decisions. Follow updates from reliable sources like the World Health Organization and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. These organizations provide accurate and timely information. Secondly, practice good hygiene and avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms. Simple actions like washing hands can make a big difference. If you're in an area with a known outbreak, take extra precautions and consider getting vaccinated if it's available. Vaccination can provide an added layer of protection. To wrap it up, while the Mpox virus is something to be aware of, it's not a cause for panic. Staying calm and informed is the best approach. With proper precautions and staying informed, we can all do our part to keep ourselves and our communities safe. Thanks for tuning in. Your health and safety are our top priorities. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on health and science topics. Your support helps us bring you more valuable content. Stay safe and see you in the next video. Take care everyone.